John Knight has been good today, so we'll let him out. Well, we'll start with uh, rallying tonight in sport, and it's a very big day for the Armed Forces Rally team. They've got two new recruits today from uh, Race to Recovery. Captain Matt O'Hare and also uh, Corporal uh, Tom Neathway have joined the team. Alan Paramore is with me as well from the Armed Forces Rally team. Big day because they're joining the team. They're obviously planning for uh, the Dakar Rally in uh, 2013, but today they're going to be making a start with that uh, as they prepare for three major events in this country. Alan, perhaps you'd like to hand over the uh, keys for the Land Rover here that they will be uh, yeah. taking part in. And also, uh, Matt, that's for us. Keys as the driver. Thank you very much. Tom, your um, co-driver's watch with the uh, with all the instructions in it. Sweet. And, uh, you know, welcome to the team, guys. Thank you very much. Sorry I don't have you a wild cat in return. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Matt, if I could just bring you in really first of all. Uh, it's a big day for the, the Armed Forces team, obviously connecting uh, with you guys as well. Yeah. What are you going to learn from these experiences? It's, uh, it's a phenomenal opportunity and uh, enormously grateful for the team to providing it. The, I think the key thing for us is the, is the, the experience of navigating uh, at pace under pressure, which is something we've um, not been able to do to this point and will be critical to us in the long run. Both, both myself and Tom will be navigators ultimately. Uh, we're nowhere near the standard of the Army Rally Team guys, um, but we'll get the chance to sit alongside people at the, at the top end of the game. We, we've enjoyed ourselves so far in the events that we've been doing, so more events is uh, going to be a lot more fun for us. So yeah, The Dakar Rally is one heck of an undertaking, and as these chaps are going to take it on and uh, really get to grips with it, they need all the training we can do, and uh, that's what the Armed Forces Rally Team does, is train um, soldiers, sailors and airmen that want to go rallying, and uh, these guys have made a, an extremely good case for this vehicle, Romeo 5, and it's theirs for the next couple of events, and let's see how we all get on. And the first event they'll be taking part in is the track rod rally up in Yorkshire, which is next weekend. Well, let's move on to rugby league now, shall we? And tonight it's the final event in this season's inter-services championship. The Navy, who lost narrowly to the RAF last Friday night, take on the Army, who put eight tries past the RAF two weeks ago. The Army, who won last season's title for the first time in six years, are overwhelming favourites to win tonight. They only need a draw. In fact, the Navy would have to win by a hatful to claim the title. So you can keep up with the game on BFBS Radio News tonight, and I'll have regular tweets from the game in Portsmouth. Now, this weekend, it's the Great North Run taking place, but in Kandahar in Afghanistan, some of the RAF have already been taking part in the event. Members of 31 Squadron from RAF Marham have been taking part in a 13-mile run around the course at the airfield. And our reporter, Carla Prater, has been watching them raising money for charity. Before the sun has even risen, 31 Squadron are lined up on the flight line. Their tornado hangers, the starting line for their race around the airfield. It's 5 a.m. and each competitor has over 13 miles ahead of them. No easy challenge when you consider the heat and dust that awaits them. The squadron have been here since the end of June on standby to provide reconnaissance and close air support across Afghanistan. They've set themselves the challenge of raising £31,000 for charity by the end of their tour, covering 31,000 miles by rowing, running or cycling. And this run is just part of the challenge. It's nothing like the route of the Great North Run here. Instead, it's right around the airfield, along the perimeter fence and past the boardwalk. And from the start, there's a clear leader, squadron engineer Lloyd Johnson, who's first to cross the finish line in a time of one hour, 32 minutes. I'm feeling really good, actually. Really knackered from the run, but I'm really happy that I've done it. It's a far cry from the northeast, but a shared sense of relief at the finish line, particularly for those like Flight Lieutenant Sasha Sheard, who'd finished a night shift before the race began. I'm really, really pleased with the result. Um, I'm really tired now. <laughs> it's uh, very hot and dusty out there at the moment. So. Just like those running in the UK, there's medals for everyone taking part. Carla Prater, Forces News, Kandahar. Well, it looks like the Armed Forces Rally Team and Race Recovery make a pretty good team. That's the sport for tonight.